sir. I have grabbed a buggy. I'm still recovering from homecoming. It's Tuesday. I literally worked and slept yesterday. But we just washed my hair because I was not wearing a hairstyle any longer. It was just hurting my hair. I'm currently getting ready for a birthday dinner. I'll put this hair mask in it and let this sit in until tonight. When I come back, I'll wash it out. I've seen mixed reviews on leaving hair mask in your hair for a long time. But this hair mask doesn't have a time limit i'm working overtime this week i will not be getting a gift card though because i took off sunday which i do not regret because i was exhausted but i'm happy i have a reason to get out the house i've already looked at the menu of where i'm going if grits is on the menu i'm gonna get it so if y'all haven't watched my homecoming vlog please go watch that because the fact that i got that up the next day after tollgate is actually incredible i was literally uploading the vlog while i was at brunch because i wanted to get it up for y'all i edited it all night i woke up early in the morning we're doing pretty good on time i have a grocery order to pick up i need to start eating healthy again and i saw these recipes on tiktok they were like lazy girl meals but they actually look really good oh by the way one of my personal nails is still standing everything else has fallen off so i don't need to take that off before i leave now the hard part is flicking it all down and getting it all in one ponytail. Okay, I think I'm going to tie my hair down just to get it flatter. And then my makeup bag is literally in the car, so I really can't do much anyway. I feel like ever since I used this the first time, it has not hit the same. While that simmers, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm just going to use this lint. I think this is Lancome. Yeah, they came in that little travel kit that I got at the airport in Spain. And I'll be ready for the content because I'm already paying for trips for next year. So, subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Let's help this channel grow. Well, product came off today. Not sure what's going on, guys. More product. Girl, what did I do the first time? This is as good as it's going to get. I want to wear these kind of like brown creamish cargo pants the fact that these are kind of snug at the top is pretty concerning then i'm just gonna put on top of it what the heck button down that i thrifted i think i thrifted this in new orleans i think i've been working on like different types of tucking i don't know how do i want to do this or i can do like the middle thing where they only do one button and then the rest is like undone like that would that be cute Oh, and then I have some jewelry I want to wear. And honestly, maybe too much for this. I don't know. Hopefully it's not. Mm, it might not. Oh, they're separate. Oh, that's actually pretty great. And please don't mind my room in the back. That's like my number one chore when I get home. I cannot keep living like this or working like this. I've been like working from my bed this week. It's only Tuesday. I worked my bed yesterday, but I worked at my desk today. Now, I feel like the earrings are too much. I also need to go to Target this week because you see that bag. The pants I got last time, they didn't take off the little ink tag on it. These might be too much as well, but they're not hoops though. So. Oh yeah, much better. Let's take the scarf off. Okay, here's one little overview of my outfit super cute very casual it's kind of humid out here and my camera's about to die i think i have a battery in here though gotta stay prepared i don't <laughs> all right well i'm about to pick up my groceries waiting on my sister to come out and yeah they're gonna go to dinner hello it's the next day i'm not done with work for today i have one more hour overtime but y'all I know y'all probably sick of me talking about this overtime, these gift cards. But I'm just learning new things all the time. So I didn't think I could get a gift card this week because I took off Sunday. But I didn't know that if I take off at all, that exempts me from even working overtime. And I've been working overtime since Monday and it's Wednesday. What they're going to do is take off the time off that I took on Sunday. So I have to work on Friday. So basically I have another vacation day, which is great. But then I was like, dang, I got to work on Friday. Which is fine because I have a great appointment on Friday. 
because as y'all can see my hair is back in the hat with the scarf i do not like looking like this on camera but not for too long i'm sitting outside my dance class right now about to go in so i'll talk to y'all a little bit later um i did get my groceries yesterday but i didn't get a chance to do my meal prep yet so i want to do that but um, today's like a really kind of busy day. I go to church today. We don't get out till like around, you know, eight something. So I probably won't be able to do any grocery shopping like I wanted to. I had to get my produce and stuff. But you know what? We're working and we're being productive this week. So I'm proud of that. gym today but if y'all can't hear it's rainy outside so i'm not leaving the house i'm gonna finish my meal prep next meal is this sticky rice that i saw on tiktok here is the other meal that i found on tiktok it was really good i feel like i'm missing a little something she added a salad and i should add that too because it's not super filling let me just show you some of the few things i got for this hibachi so my two favorite sauces this yum yum sauce and then this teriyaki sauce i already cooked my rice earlier and then i'm also including minced garlic that's what she used other than the chicken we've got some carrots and peas and then some cauliflower rice to mix in with the rice i have a lot of rice so if the chicken doesn't stretch over all the meals i have shrimp even though i heard shrimp is not the healthiest for you but we're going to use that i washed my meal prep containers that i got here's the top and they actually stay meal prep right here i want to film a cute tiktok whenever i make the hibachi one because i think that'd be a good tiktok but i restaurant that i went to earlier this week I should have just got shrimp and grits. I normally get shrimp and grits, but I just wanted to be different and get something else that came with grits, which was fish. And I shouldn't even ask the waitress her preference because we have different taste buds, I, I assume now, since I took her advice. And the food wasn't nasty per se, but like it lacked juiciness and flavor. And like my sister had shrimp and grits and she was tearing it down. It looked good. And I tried some of it and I asked the waitress if I can get like the same sauce that was on hers. I could put that on mine. And she was like, no, but I can give you the sauce that's on yours. And I'm like, girl, what sauce on this? This is dry. She came back out and no, it was not sauce. It was oil. It's kind of like the oil that you get at those restaurants where you dip your bread in. And the fact that it was $30. actually really easy or than i expected i'm so happy that i'm actually doing this i've been doing my meal prepping for so long and this is the first time i'm actually successfully doing it like in these little containers and stuff hair appointments in the morning i work tomorrow and the power's out and i've not blow dried my hair out my appointment's at 8 a.m they said the power's not gonna come back on until like 1 a.m maybe so i'll be waking up at like 6 to do my hair the lights came back on i was so ready to go to sleep but let's get this done tonight Six minutes to my appointment, but it's three minutes away. Packing my snacks. I'm so hurt because there's no water bottles left. What the heck? Getting my braids done, and for some reason, I didn't register in my head that I needed to select custom blend. I'm trying to not include my hair at the top. But basically, like if you see all those hairs in the back, all those colors, that's what I was initially wanting to get. It was like, 27, 4, 6, 13, and one more color. It was really pretty. I found it on TikTok. Since I didn't even select custom blend, she thought it was going to be individual. Like each braid was going to be different colors and blending like takes a little bit longer. So I had to pick one color. So I impulsively picked blonde. I just have to like mentally think like, okay, your hair's not going to be this color. You know what I'm saying? Because I've had blonde before 
and they are actually really small which i'm happy about because it'll be flatter but we got a lot done we started around like 8 30 ish and it's 12 30 right now so that's four hours and it's all pretty much done it's just well y'all know how it don't look like that much is left and then it's like you divide it in a lot of pieces but this is how much is left yeah i did my eyebrows so i take myself seriously um but yeah not that much left but they're a really nice size they look more small than this medium and i'm not complaining low-key i was like i should have chose this color this ginger color but by the time i really thought about that it was already on and popping so i was like you know what it's fine i don't mind Oop. i don't mind blonde on my hair so it'll do my hair is done and i'm off the clock the blonde is growing on me i think it's the size as well like it's so flat y'all like omg so nice so neat i'm not sure if i want to see the parts or not but it's getting neat you have some pjs i'm thinking about going to what's it called it's like a pj Relations? Sisterly Relations event and we we're supposed to wear PJs. I thought it was not free but it is so now I'm considering attending. It's black to like dark but maybe if I have this open and have like a black under it so that it's all like a one thing. You can wear like a robe. Yeah we might do that. We got time set six and I gotta worry about doing my hair. <laughs> Y'all I was so tired. Sam what actually asked me the other day why do you always wear a hat? <laughs> I was like, because I don't, my hair's not done. I'm sorry. Yeah, you up. Dang. Up. But yeah, we're feeling it. We're feeling it. We're feeling it. So that's all good and dandy. This is my first time getting braids without the curls in a while. Hair's done. My outfit was kind of cute. I ain't gonna say it. It's nothing too fancy, but I just thought it was cute. I love these leggings. I see the hype and why people like Lululemon because... These leggings feel amazing. Crop with the shirt and this jacket. I have my Air Force Ones. I don't wear a matching set when I get my hair done. But um, yeah, I like this one. It was comfortable to sit in. My butt didn't start hurting until like an hour before like the last braid. So we stuck it through. I'm about to just chill and watch Iron Man 3. I've been watching all the Iron Man's. I'm all in the mood. But, um, yeah, I'm almost done with it. I think I like the third one the best. I'm not sure I want to go down the Marvel wormhole, but I might. I love a good action movie. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to lay down. I'm going to be changing my makeup setup since I got that light from Amazon so I can, like, have a cuter setup. I just found out I got to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to go to my little sister's cross-country meet in freaking Monroe. Why am I just now finding out, realizing how much of a difference it makes to apply your concealer or blend it in with a brush. It's actually insane. I just thought I was using crappy products because it didn't seem like it was really appearing. Yes, y'all, I got a bacon right now. I used this Charlotte Tilbury uh, mascara in one of my last Get Red With Me TikToks. It had a really different applicator, but I ain't gonna fake. I'm not sure if it's top in my Lancome, but it does apply nicely on top of it while the mascara is still kind of wet because once that Lancome dries, or really any mascara, it's so hard to reapply. But like, I don't want my lashes to look bald. I think I've told you on this vlog how like, you really couldn't see them in pictures I took and I don't want that. And I feel like my lashes are long. The Milani Make It Last. I don't know why I want to say Make It Last forever, <laughs> but the Milani Make It Last finishing spray. Just do a little lip. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really starting to feel these blonde braids. I love a good blush, so we're gonna add a little bit more of this black radiance. I just love this color. I think I'm gonna put more present earrings on so it looks more like mm, together. I wonder how this rare beauty looks on my lips, like in the middle or in the center. It's like a little mauve color. Let me just put it on my finger. It's kind of cute. I'm just gonna wear my hair like up, kind of like this PJs, like. How do I forget eyeliner? Please tell me how. That's something I would never not do with makeup is tight line, my waterline, like, so. 
the event is over. Oh, I man, I was supposed to ask the girl for that video. It was actually really nice. We got there pretty much right on time right on time if we were a little bit late we probably would have missed the good information stuff like that but it ended off with a little stroll off and we had to like split in groups i volunteered to go up there to like pick our song and the song was choppa style first i thought like it was one person from each group i'm like oh i'm about to this. pull out one of the strolls from the archives i'm from undergrad but no i had to like teach one to my group and it was like it was seven of us and it was people of all ages i was like okay let me think real quick of what we can do. And we won, y'all. If it's ain't one thing I know, I know how to scroll. This is our gift. It's in AKA, I'm not gonna see. It says AKA, it's a necklace, it's really cute. We're about to go home. It's late, y'all, it's like 10. I didn't think we are gonna be here that long. But the food was good, got some cute pictures. And yeah, I'm happy I came. Sam didn't tell me we supposed to RSVP. So I was really coming up here and they might have been like, hey, you ain't sign up. But that didn't happen. But yeah, I'll be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Right in my hometown, we're about to go to this thrift store that this church puts on every like Saturday, I think, or once Saturday a month or something like that. They do this every Saturday or every twice a month. Twice a month. Okay. How do I know about this? I told you about it. I told you last time. I Hopefully, they got cute stuff. I have grabbed the buggy. All of this is my stuff, and this is my mom's stuff. But I want some slacks. I want if I can fit these. Y'all, why this man come over and tell me that I was gorgeous, my personality made me outstanding, older guy. Then he proceeds to say he has a farm, well, he has a lot of businesses, one being a farm, where he's a pine tree and cotton. Cotton. Sir. But in other news, here's the card. Hey, what I'm keeping. Need the slacks. I just love a good black crew neck. Black denim jacket. So cute. Turtleneck. This is 350. This is 350. Yeah, because I probably will wear a Button down. It's so cute. This is also 350. This says extra small. I like this. And then this purse, which is a dollar. You don't mind for me? This. This stuff. Because we're having a girls' day. I'm, I'm actually very serious right now. Everything is so cheap. <laughs> okay, I talked my mom into buying all the clothes. I picked out for me in exchange I'm giving her half of the Target gift card that I'm gonna get for this week I'll get Amazon for next week I'll get Target for this one but let me show y'all what I got while we're in the car um yeah in order for my mom to buy me that stuff I have to put a few things back I did add something else to my cart that I didn't show y'all so it's this two-piece set it's velvet and this is so cute for Christmas so it's this top and it comes with a matching skirt mm cute if it's cold enough hopefully it is i'll wear it for christmas and then i didn't show y'all this either two vlogs ago i wore that off the shoulder purple top to the pumpkin patch and i saw another one and i just love these and the color was really pretty i'm trying to up my color game because i have a lot of neutrals which is great but i want some pops of color isn't this cute i had a lot of orange tags which were five dollars but this was pink which is 350. also just got the phone i told you something about what that man said and he was like y'all got some crazy people where you live and i was like yeah i love this sweater i cannot wait to wear it i think it pops great with the blonde when it gets cold i'm definitely going to wear this this was also 350. i tried on this puffer vest i just felt like i could not leave without getting this because it's such a great quality it's from old navy and it's not as small but it fits really cute i've been talking about getting graphic tees a lot but you know maybe this is a good start like a little graphic crew neck it's not really graphic though but um yo it's hair on it yo and it's not mine i'll definitely be washing this stuff it's like literally like a dollar 
Why would I not get it? As y'all saw, these slacks fit. And then I didn't realize that this was Calvin Klein. I was not putting this back because I also realized it has like a little undertone of brown in it. So it was like black and brown, which I thought was cute. And then I got this silver bag that I showed y'all. On my Christmas list, there are these silver metallic sling bags from, I think, Steve Madden. And wouldn't that be so cute with this? I would imagine like wearing sling bags with like some black slacks and like a really cute, like maybe a bodysuit with like a coat with the sling back shoes and this purse. And some silver jewelry <laughs> yes let's get colder so i can start wearing some fits because i'm not a huge fan of having on this skin showing like these shorts and stuff i need to run to target after this and get that ink tag taken off of my pants and then i want to stop by the snow cone place that's closing i love the snow cone y'all and i didn't even know they were still selling it because it's got it a little bit cooler they selling i'm going and then after that i'm gonna finish editing this quite early so I can get some rest because I start by working tomorrow. That's the only thing I'm working on Friday. My weekend is cut super short. So I try to take advantage of getting out the house because I'm about to be in the house tomorrow. Well, my sister had a soccer game, so I'm gonna be going to that. So I don't normally work at her soccer game to bring my laptop and stuff. So tomorrow should fly by quicker. But I love my outfit for today. This is this black top. I think I got this from Burlington. for between one jewelry. This crew neck I got from Disneyland in Paris. And then these shorts I thrifted and the belt was gifted. And then I wear my Air Force Ones and my Michael Kors. Yeah, it's hot in here. I turned the air off so I can like have good audio but I love filming in my mom's car. It just looks so aesthetically pleasing better than my car i got the ink tag taken off the pants and now i'm just doing a little bit of window shopping to see if there's anything i want to use my gift cards for specifically here as christmas gifts there's certain things i want to look at i'm buying candy for my dance studio's trunk or treat and i'm not sure what's a good deal this is 20 dollars for 150 pieces Y'all will not believe me if I told y'all how long I stood in that line. I probably stood in that line for about 30 to 45 minutes. But it's literally one person working by themselves in there. It don't make no sense how good this is. No sense. This just made my day. 